Okay, so uh, particular problem 11. Um, it's pretty much like Battleship, but what you're doing is you have a, a grid of 20 by 20 integers, and you're just trying to find the greatest product of four adjacent integers. Like, they can be diagonal, so 1, 2, 3, 4, or a vertical 1, 2, 3, 4, or horizontal 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, so yeah, so my just initial thought was to find all of the combinations of four adjacent numbers and then just find the biggest one. So um, I broke down the problem. Um, I created the grid as a, a multi-associate or just an array, multi-dimensional array. Uh, so each row is its own. Um, this would be a list in Python. And this would be a list in Python, so you have 20 lists. And then the, you just give a coordinate, so this would be like 1919 right there, and this would be 00, zero and like uh, zero, 01, zero, 02. So, and then my idea was just to find um, each, find the verticals. So this would be like, I would do that. So this one, this one, and this one would be a vertical, and just find all verticals of four. And, and then uh, you find all of the horizontals, which would be pretty easy. And then um, all of the diagonals too. At first I forgot the, I did the left to right diagonals like this one, but then you have to do also do it to right. So, um, so with, and then you just, with those four functions, um, um, vertical, horizontal, left to right, um, diagonals and right to left diagonals, you just return the greatest um, one greatest product of those four. So with the verticals, um, I just loop through uh, each of the rows, then each of the columns um, to the 16th spot. So you would check this one, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, till, all you, till you got all the way to one, two, three, four. I did that through every um, column and just return the greatest. So um, and then with the horizontals, it's just, you just uh, pretty much loop through each um, row or each list in the grid and check one, check this one, and then you would check this one. Like, wait, what happens was that mean here? One, two, three, four, then one, two, three, four, and then all the way you got to here. So you got this. Um, just enumerated through the grid. And then uh, and once they have the, your starting index, I pretty much is what that is. And once they got the 17, comes out, can be the last one position of the last group of four. Um, you just get the total of whatever spot you are in the grid. And then return the greatest. And then diagonals, um, he's, he's just the left to the right. So you just, you loop through um, each of the spots, coordinates in the grid, and just say you start here, or at zero, zero. You want, after that, to get a diagonal, you get uh, one, one, two, two, three, three. And, and just do that for every starting point in the, the grid. So here, it, you just add one more row down and one more column up and do that four times until you get to 16, 16. Because you can't like start a starting point here. There's no adjacent numbers. So those the left and right diagonals, and you just read return the greatest. I did a little trick instead of like doing this code backwards. I just flipped the grid. Um, so eight would be here, or zero would be here, and four and nine would be here, and you just flip flop or reverse it. So you just reverse each row, and then you just redo left right, to right diagonals, and that's the same thing as getting right to left diagonals um so first i printed it out um just printed what's the horizontal what's the greatest horizontal product in the verticals and the left to right diagonals and after that um since then i had to switch or reverse the grid so he's reverse grid then i do the left i call the same left to right which is essentially getting right to left diagonals and that's it so then you just do So this is the greatest one in the horizontals. Product is this number. Um, verticals is this number, and then left to right angles is this. And but the answers happen to be it's a right to left. I should probably print it out which 
combination is, but it's a it rent or the product is this number, which is the answer. So right there. And but yeah, that's how I solved it. So I wonder what the problem is. I could figure it out later, but cool.